Hi, I'm Claire Daniels. And I'm Alex Reed. Most of us watching this Whistle Stop video enjoy refereeing as a hobby. And if you enjoy your hobby, you'll want to be active as much as possible, which means being fit to referee the game in front of you. Warm up, injury prevention, and being fit for purpose works closely together to ensure that your training, your matches are fun, enjoyable, and therefore rewarding. In this Whistle Stop video, we're going to be providing you with information on three important things that Alex just mentioned warm up, fit for purpose, and injury prevention. Your training should be varied and completed at an appropriate intensity. The physical work that you do to prepare yourself will make refereeing easier. There are specific movement patterns and physical demands placed upon referees, so you should aim to include these demands in your training. You need to keep up with play and make safe and fair decisions whilst under physical fatigue from the first minute to the very last. So, let's look at the warm-up. An effective warm-up in training and games has been proven to reduce injury. Ankles, calves and hamstrings are the most common referee non-contact injuries. It's often a pre-match routine to help physically prepare but also to mentally prepare for the match which is important. If you have to sprint in the first minute or the final minute you must be prepared. And your warm-up should last for around 15 minutes. Your warm-up should include dynamic flexibility and movement, mimic the demands of your game and increase in intensity, steadily increase your heart rate, include the movement patterns you will undertake in your game and work all your major muscle groups. And here are some great warm-up ideas for referees. Right guys, we're going to keep nice and low, feet nice and wide, nice and shuffle, face the other way, shuffle. Here we go, first group, let's go. Second group, let's go. Face the other way, nice and low. Good, well done. And again, if you want to jog on the spot as you get used to it, make it more dynamic. That's it. Good. Good. And there might be one side that feels different to the other. And then let's open the gates. So the other way, keep your hips squares, little jog on the spot, open them out. Jog on the spot, open them out. Good. So hopefully that's given you some ideas on how and what activities to perform in an effective warm up and they're far more beneficial and enjoyable than just running around a pitch. Now let's look at being fit for purpose or what training you should be doing to referee to the best of your ability on game day. Let's have a go. Push, 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 good. Good guys, good. Dip and drive, dip and drive, dip and drive. Dip and drive, good, good, good. Nice and low, ready, 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 good. Nice and quick. Poof. Good. Ready and go. Good. Ready and go. Good. Copy, copy, copy. Quick as you can, Ollie. Come on, keep with him, keep with him, keep with him. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. Good job, guys. Keep going. Five seconds to go. Go, go, go. Nice and quick. Make it quick. Make it fluid. Keep working and relax. Good. Best cone. Okay. Ready, go. Push. Good and relax. Lovely. Referees can cover between six and eight kilometers in an 80 minute match. And much of that could be at 80% of your maximum heart rate. The ability to make safe and accurate decisions under physical fatigue is very important. So your training should mimic what you're expecting your mind and body to do on game day. Okay, so yeah, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Good, go as deep as you can. Good, lovely, and again, Three to go, one, lovely. So on the spot lunge, down to 90 degrees, hips square. Okay, forward and back, here we go. 
Good, nice posture, don't tilt forward if you can, Emma, keep your body nice and straight. Nice long lunge, guys, nice long legs. Nice long lunge, good. Your training should address agility, aerobic capacity, speed endurance, speed, strength and power. Consider what you currently do to be fit for your game on match day. Could it be more effective? And could you include elements to cover injury prevention also? Ideally, we need to be robust and resilient physically so that your training needs to be protective. Regular bouts of conditioning act as this, that protective stimulus, which will allow you to cope with the demands of your game. Injury prevention activities can easily be incorporated into your warm-ups and training. You can even build them into day-to-day -day tasks at home. If you're fit for purpose, then your risk of non-contact injury will be greatly reduced. When you dip and land, hold for three seconds and then go again. Good. Make sure you work the left leg, the right leg, vary what you do. And then switch legs, Emma, as well for you guys. Good job, nice. Good. Here we go, control, hold, and then go. Good, hold, and then go. Good. Control. Good. Accelerate, stabilise. Accelerate, stabilise. And then switch legs. Lift up, big belly breath out. Control, push. Good, and then back down. Now, what I'd like you to do is progress with your hands on your tummy. Okay, same again. Lift up, big push for the hammies work. Good, lower with control. And again, push, control. Bring your heels a bit nearer to you if you can. There you go. Good, and back up, that's nice, I like that. Go again, Dak, that's good. Great job, good control, get your bum nice and low. Sit your bum down, that's nice, and then probably come out a bit. Nice square hips, here we go, control, and back up, good. I'm sure we've given you some useful advice and information about being fit to referee. Remember that we want you to enjoy your hobby, be fit for your game, and we're whistling for many more matches to come. And here are three top tips from Wayne Barnes. Tip one, keep fit to referee rather than just refereeing to keep fit. That way you're far less likely to pick up an injury and be fit for your game. Tip two, in all your training include three elements, warm up, fit for purpose and injury prevention. And tip three, plan and vary your training around what you enjoy. There is also plenty of information available on the internet for referee specific training.